It's been half a century since humanity last walked on the moon. But now, SpaceX is rewriting history, reigniting the dream to return to the lunar surface and beyond. This mission isn't just a trip back to the moon. It's humanity's boldest step toward building a future among the stars. SpaceX, in partnership with NASA, is leading the charge to explore the moon's untapped potential. But why return to the moon? The South Pole holds vast reserves of water ice, a resource critical for survival. This ice can be turned into breathable oxygen, drinkable water, and even rocket fuel. It's the key to a sustainable presence on the moon and a stepping stone to Mars. The mission has three major objectives. Establish a sustainable presence on the moon. Study its resources to fuel future space exploration. Test advanced technologies for humanity's ultimate goal, like colonizing Mars. This mission isn't just about going to the moon. It's about learning to live there. But surviving on the moon is no walk in the park. Let's talk about the challenges. Extreme temperatures. Daytime temperatures soar to 127 degrees Celsius, while nights plunge to a freezing minus 173 degrees Celsius. SpaceX is designing habitats and suits to endure these extremes. Micrometeoroids. The moon has no atmosphere to shield against constant micrometeoroid impacts. Every structure must be fortified to withstand these tiny, high-speed threats. Deadly lunar dust. The moon's surface is covered in regolith, a sharp, clingy dust that can damage equipment and harm human health. Managing this will be a top priority. Even isolation and confinement are just as challenging as physical threats. To keep astronauts mentally healthy, SpaceX is designing habitats with recreation zones and communication systems to stay connected with Earth. Radiation is another silent enemy. Without Earth's protective magnetic field, astronauts face exposure to cosmic rays and solar flares. That's why habitats and Starship will be equipped with radiation shielding, and some structures may even be built underground for added protection. To survive, astronauts will tap into the moon's resources. Frozen water at the lunar poles will be extracted and turned into oxygen for breathing and hydrogen for rocket fuel. This groundbreaking process is called in-situ resource utilization, and it's the key to long-term space survival. At first, astronauts will rely on pre-packaged food, but experiments in hydroponic farming will pave the way for growing fresh food right on the moon. Energy will come from massive solar panels, storing power in advanced batteries to sustain operations during the long, dark 14-day lunar nights. SpaceX's moon mission is a leap toward humanity's cosmic future. This is more than just a mission. It's the dawn of a new era, and it is scheduled to launch no earlier than mid-2027. Are you ready to witness the next giant leap? What do you think? Will this revolutionary mission lead to space exploration or space exploitation? Share your thoughts and comments. For more content on space, news, crime stories, and everything above and beyond, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel.